Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is going to be your full moon reading for the full moon in Pisces happening on September 2nd. Now, Pisces, you guys, many of you already know that, um, you know, that we're the, the collective. Everyone is going to be infused with dreamy, mystical, creative vibes of your watery sign. And while some of the most empathic of us are going to struggle with this sudden deep dive into emotional depths, the full moon is an amazing time to manifest and also release what no longer serves you. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to the space to deliver the messages for Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces for this full moon reading? Okay, you guys are showing up as the Ace of Swords. Pisces, overall energy for this reading is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys have been desperately trying to manifest someone or something, some sort of change in your life, and you haven't been seeing the results that you want. Now, the Eight of Wands in reverse takes me back to the Seven of Wands, that this is going to need some grit. There is some struggle here, but... This is a step up. You will see improvements. Now, the Eight of Wands is fire energy. You might have this in your chart or you might be exhibiting these qualities. You might also be observing or energetically attached to a fire sign. Now, Pisces, you guys are coming out on as the Ace of Swords, starting something brand new. This is some sort of clarity, some sort of download that you've received, or a new direction that you're moving into. Remember, the Ace of Swords is air energy, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You might, again, have these in your chart or exhibiting these qualities, but there's a little, there's an element of strife associated with the Ace of Swords because it means cutting away the old so that the new can come about. Now, how you project yourself to the world, ten of, ten, of, uh, 10 of Wands in reverse. This is Sagittarius energy, although it can represent also Aries or Leo. Um, but the Ten of Wands in reverse is beautiful energy because you are releasing burdens. Some of you guys are walking away from a karmic relationship. Others of you are just walking away from saying yes to too much, trying to please too many people, trying to do it all yourself. Okay, and I like that. That's really nice. It's a hard lesson to learn, Pisces. Now, what's blocking your goals and your desires? We do have the Knave of Swords. So this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person that you're dealing with, or it could be where you are on the journey. Pisces, some of you might be feeling a little bit confused. Um, you might also be, be very hard on yourselves. That aspect of yourself that's saying you're not doing it right. You never do it right. You know, it's not just the tough parent, but it's that negative self-talk. So I really want you guys to pay attention to how you guys are communicating to yourselves. All right. Because remember the most important advice you will ever get or the most important words you will ever hear are the words you tell yourself. Now, the Knave of Swords is usually somebody who has a singular vision. It's fast-moving energy. It's somebody who um, you know, is willing to cut down anyone and everything in, in his way to accomplish his goals. But when he's in the reverse, he's kind of flailing around a little bit wildly. Okay, and um, I am saying he, but please keep gender out of it. We all have masculine and feminine qualities. So it's really important, Pisces, that you get right, that you get clear on what it is you need to do. Some of you might be continuing to hold on to certain things or doing certain things, and you're not really sure why, or and you know they don't serve you any longer, but you're doing it out of habit. And I'm seeing that more than anything, this um, more than hurting other people around you or the process, it, you're being really hard on yourself and it's really creating delays. Um, you might also have bickering 
Um, you might be sort of setting up roadblocks in your personal relationships if you feel like you're just sort of banging your head against the wall, you're not getting along well with people, and you're not really sure why. Because this knave of swords, there's a sense of confusion, and there's a little bit of a nastiness associated with him. I'm not necessarily saying that you are nasty to others, but I, I get this feeling, Pisces, that you need to be kinder to yourself, to be less hard on yourself. Because remember, that's the energy that you're going to be emitting, and that's the energy Energy you're going to be attracting okay the next card is what you need to do to overcome these obstacles the knave of pentacles this is having the courage to really take those steps um, I feel like you've done all the planning and all the preparation I think you are cutting away you're releasing burdens but you're not quite there yet but you know what direction you need to move in but there's certain things that you have to be kind and compassionate with yourself and with others during this change okay so try to treat yourself as if you were you know as if you were talking to your child or your best friend okay or your spouse somebody you really care about because I just keep picking up on you being extremely hard on yourselves because you're not getting what you want or you keep setting the same intentions but they're, they're not coming to fruition you're not seeing the results spirit wants you to know the results are coming but there's a little bit of a lack of self-confidence with the knave of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy this knave is completely prepared and completely organized but he just he or she just needs that little push and that life experience which maybe you don't have because you're starting something brand new but trust that the universe is going to deliver you uh, what you need to get through this okay and not only get through this and to triumph so the next card is um, what you can do within in order to help achieve your goals and your des desires five of swords more Aquarius energy Libra and Gemini as well but the five of swords in reverse takes me back to that four of swords there's a need for rest there's a need for rejuvenation. Pisces, I feel like you've been going, going, going. You've been hitting it hard. You've been, you know, you've been trying to tick all the boxes. You've been trying to do everything right. And now it's time to heal. There's something here that needs to be healed. Some of you, this knave of swords energy is an external party. But for many of you, I do keep picking up on. It's the way that you're treating yourself. So again, that kindness and that compassion that you extend to everybody needs to be extended inward. Okay, or needs to be, you know, need to be, needs to be extended to you before it can go outward. Okay. The next card out is what you can learn from the outside world or what you need to know. Temperance. Again, there's a need for healing and there's a need for balance. Temperance is a reminder that you guys are earth angels. This is an extremely mystic moon and you guys are very extremely spiritual and psychic sign, but we need to, in order to receive the downloads, in order to integrate the light codes, you know, that you've been receiving with these eclipses, with Lionsgate, and just your natural ability, your natural, you know, connection that you have with source energy and connection with your angels and your spirit guides, you do need to rest. You need to eat well. You need to take care of yourself because without this energy, Pisces, without this balance, without this alchemy, okay, you won't be able to tap into your highest potential. And the temperance card, there's more Sagittarius energy. You might have a Sagittarius in your chart. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the temperance card is also a reminder. You know, it's based on the archetype of Iris, the messenger to the gods, that you have this ability to channel and to tap into source energy. And now is the time to do that, but just don't get in your own way. Now, the final outcome, we have the King of Swords energy. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The King of Swords energy is about the need to step into your authenticity, the need to be truthful. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of a warning here, Pisces, to not stand, not be anchored in your shadow energy that's disempowering because I'm picking up on, you know, you guys have this amazing ability. Some of you, it's, you know, it's channeling spirit. For many of you, your other readers, you might be Reikiist, energy healers. Um, you might also pick up on smells. Um, you might have a real connection to the fairy world as well with this knave of pentacles and gnomes and that sort of thing. But many of you are very gifted healers. Now, the knight, the king of swords can also represent an ex, somebody coming back into your life that you had cut out or that you're having difficulties walking away from or an aspect of yourself that, you know, is that really, really tough? parent and I really want you to work on releasing that uh, during this 
during this full moon Pisces, all right? So let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards for you to see what additional messages come through. Okay, you get embrace oneness with the universe, 16 breaking down to a seven, very spiritual number here, you guys. Um, and before I go any further, I'm really being drawn to the five of swords and the ace of swords. So you have six swords. Six of swords is about peace of mind. It's also about going through a rough period and making a beautiful transition. And I love that because we're looking to me, this looks like somebody stepping, walking through, you know, the depths of a pond, the murky depths of a river, crossing this river, crossing to the other side. Things are definitely getting better. But remember that, you know, we can not think of ourselves as one wave in a giant ocean, right? A wave is not apart from the ocean. So embrace oneness with the universe. This is going to really help you understand Pisces, what's going on and how to harness your energy. Um, commune with source. Look at that. Yeah, you guys are very, very strong, strong healers, but you guys, your connection to source is wide open, okay? You have to believe it. You have to know it. You have to understand it. Even though I'm picking up on you're not feeling that, you might be feeling a little bit confused. If that's the case, remember that we are here having a human experience, but how do we tap into this energy? How do we reconnect with our higher selves, with the divine? And for many, we all have different tactics. We all have things that work differently for us, but through prayer, through meditation, is it walking in the woods? Is it jumping in the river? You know, is it running, going for a run? Whatever it is that you do and that gets you there, Pisces, really have a good hard look and hard look and get back on track because I'm picking up on how much we need you and your energy right now look at that beautiful 24 breaking down to another six you belong to paradise yeah exactly Pisces you guys you you deserve to be in alignment you deserve to receive you deserve to be open and into the flow you have everything that it takes don't let this little this little bout of confusion or self-doubt don't let it set in and don't let it close off your channels which are very very powerful i love this energy pisces whoops and we get fruition beautiful 37 breaking down to a 10 so here we have fruition this is things, beautiful things are going to come your way. You know, the law of attraction, you may have experienced delays or a full stop um, and a lot of confusion and then letting self-doubt step in, but spirit's coming to say, coming in this new direction is yours. You can manifest. If you can dream it, Pisces, if you can imagine it, if you can think it, you can do it. And you have so much energy to harness here. All right. And you get pleasure beautiful 18 breaking down to a nine so really paying attention to um you know your your wish fulfillment all right but what i'm getting more than anything here this um you know we have your pleasure you have your wish fulfillment coming to fruition and you know i read something uh while i was out the other day and it was you know the caterpillar just as he thought his world was over he or she turns into a beautiful butterfly. And that's the energy I'm picking up on here for you guys, Pisces. And release, beautiful, absolutely. 27 breaking down to another nine. So there's something here that needs to be released. Maybe you have started on that journey. I think you guys are right on the precipice of that sweet spot, okay? I love it. I love this energy, Pisces. It has not been easy, okay? It's been a difficult road. I can, I'm definitely picking up on that. Um, you know, you've had a lot of obstacles, but you are capable of moving mountains. All right, let's pull a final message for Pisces from the Precious Gems Oracle, and I'm going to read from the book for you. All right, you guys get Labradorite. Yes, you guys, 17 breaking down to an eight. So here we have at least two eights coming out in this reading. I love that because I have my labradorite right here you guys right here some of you guys are channeling passed on loved ones is what i'm picking up on um i was kind of picking up on that a little bit earlier 
Okay, but now that this Labradorite is coming out, um, and Labradorite is a very, very mystical stone, all right? And with two eights coming here, the, the shape of the eight, the Lemniscate, the figure eight, is about ascension. Um, you you know, you, I think you feel like you've been plateaued or you've been, you know, sidelined or, you know, your connection to source has been a little bit funky and it's been quite confusing. But all of that, Pisces, is coming to an end, all right? So this card here, um, light skims across my surface in an iridesc iridescent dance. Breathe and the color will find its way to you. A rainbow caught in rock, an illusion in form, and nobody's better at sifting through and you know coming to terms and grips with illusion better than my Pisces. Light brushes across your spirit and lustrous recognition, the magic in you, a miracle born. Breathe and the path will find its way to you. Yes, because I'm picking up on some of you have really been feeling lost. So Labradorite is a gray, a gray feldspar rock that displays strong iridescent shades of blue, red, orange, green, and yellow as we've seen. Um, it's linked to the zodiac signs of Leo, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. And there's a lot of Sag in this reading, you guys, which you either have in your chart or you might be exhibiting these qualities. Um, known as the stone of magic, Labradorite helps the holder to develop psychic abilities. So you guys, you guys are working also on integrating the psychic upgrades that you've been receiving. And believe me, it's no easy task. It also give, brings the gift of serendipity, meaning that you will find yourself in the right place at the right time with the right people. You may be incredulous at the number of coincidences that come your way, as well as opportunities that seem to land in your lap. This is a very attractive stone, and we see that. I think some of you have been in a place where you're doubting what you've been wishing for, if it will actually manifest, and this is double, triple confirmation, Pisces, that it's coming your way. Acknowledging and working towards a goal reveals ready-made support and connections. Effort is met by further opportunity, so don't stop, Pisces. All right, your affirmations are, I have the gift of serendipity. I am in the right place at the right time with the right people. I am fortunate and my psychic gifts continue to develop. Yes, Pisces, we need you. Please don't stop. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.